Witnessing the nesting and birth of marine turtles is a biological wonder. September through November are the peak nesting seasons, and around two months later comes the miracle of life. A lot of miracles. Typically 100 eggs per nest. 20% are lost at the nest site to crabs and bugs. Another 50% are lost when the babies hatch and make their journey from the nest to another uh, location in the ocean. Mostly to birds awaiting their arrival. Once in the ocean, another 50% are lost in the first few days to more birds, fish, and other predators. Those that survive the initial years of life will still be prey to sharks and killer whales. These figures are derived without considering the consequences of human influence. Now let's review the numbers. Look once we factor in human impact the survival rate. Poachers that eat and sell the eggs as well as use the shells of hawksbill turtles for jewelry and other merchandise reduce their turtle, turtle population significantly. Beach development for homes and hotels that put on rock walls and use landfill inhibit and reduce the nesting area sites. Tragic oil spills destroy numerous marine animal lives, including sea turtles. The enormous volumes of plastic debris, especially the trash that looks like jellyfish, are accidentally ingested by the turtles, thinking they are food and choke on them. The illegal use of long, long lines and nets and trap and drown the turtles. Collectively, humans increase the loss of turtle life significantly. It is estimated that their survival rate is reduced to around 5%, as low as 1% when considering how humans impact the ecosystem. That makes the survival of the species as rare as hitting the jackpot in the lottery. Generally, only one out of every thousand babies of turtle will survive to adulthood. It was a call from nature, like a voice that spoke to me and gave me a sense of urgency to take action to help the turtles have a better chance. The primary goal and aim of the organization is to protect one of Panama's most vital, vital nesting areas of all of Ridley sea turtles. Their survival rate in the nursery is currently 91%, and we protect the eggs in the nursery to avoid loss from the nest location until the babies make it down the beach to the ocean. This means we save about 50% more turtles than on the beach without assistance. Here at Playa Vanau, we have a peaceful place and a beautiful place, but every negative factor that is contrary to the existence and survival of the turtles is here, so we are taking steps to do better. By bringing awareness to the need for coexistence and ecotourism, we will have a brighter future and the marine turtles will have a better chance of getting off the endangered species list. Because of the odds are stacked against them, it is a more responsibility of humanity, humanity to lend a hand and help these majestic creatures especially since it is mostly due to humans that their survival rate has diminished. This is why we talk about leaving no trace as a concept to live by when interacting with nature and making decisions that affect the environment. As part of the release, we are allowed to protect them from birds, crabs, and dogs, but not carry them to the water. The babies have this amazing feature that works somewhat like a geo-imprinting that allows them to make it back to this very beach when they become adults in 15 to 20 years from now to lay eggs. After the release, now that we have wished the babies on their journey, we can talk about that after, but let's take a look at the nest and see what's going on. <laughs>